Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. Once again, it is TMI Right. Have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? Probably that is a hell no. But go check it out. It's very good. You may like the video. You may not like the video. I'm sorry. You, yeah. But probably a lot of you will crap on it because I'm not the greatest YouTuber. Whatever, people. Give me a tr try. Give me a chance. Anyway, if you want to be a part of the Rob Right Show, this is what you got to do. Just follow me on my Facebook page. The link will be down below. Double click it. DM me and let me know when you are available. I'm going to try to be the available the best that I can. Okay? And we discuss about random stuff. Let me know if you really want to be part of this. If not, don't even bother me at all. My social media accounts will be down below. Overall, all my social media accounts will be down below. I don't know why I said it twice. Sorry. Now, once again, I will discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, be a free to grab some eat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to talk to you and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject, and of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. It'll just be an article list. It'll be just an article. Let's get into this. Now, there are some of you who don't like AEW. There's a lot of you who love AEW. I'm not a fan of it. I watched some of it. Never got into it. I just don't post it. Um, now, Austin says AEW is good for WWE. How is that possible? They're on two different um, nights, especially Raw. Raw don't have no damn competition because McMahon bought out his competition years ago. That was so stupid. I'm sorry I said that. It was stupid. At first, when he bought out his competition... I thought it was going to be a great thing. You're going to see Sting. You're going to see Goldberg. You're going to see Kevin Nash. You're going to see all these top guys. And Ric Flair, nothing. Zippo, zilch. You get all these mid cutters. Or in your case, jobbers. You know? I just say mid cutters. Eventually, we got Ric Flair. Eventually, we got Goldberg. Eventually, we got Hall and Nash. But that was later on. And eventually, we got Sting. Later on. Way later on. You know? Because... He decided to go somewhere else, you know. He said in a view that when the, the whole invasion, he don't feel comfortable they, they were going to use him correctly. And he's right. They don't use him correctly when he joined back in 2014. They should beat him. Actually, sorry. Sting should beat Triple H at that mania. I'm sorry to say that. You know, how many times is Triple H going to have a WrestleMania moment? Sting had never had a WrestleMania moment. And when when did the NWO help out Sting? They never helped him out in the, at all in WCW days. That was stupid. The NWO part was stupid. You know? We want to focus on Sting and Triple H. I think W just want to have one last ride between the the... Sorry, the WCW and the WWE. That's where they did it. So if they ever decided to bring it back, you know, go back in history, they will do it the correct way. Sting, Triple H, that's it. No interference, nothing. Maybe Sting will win. Who knows? Who's that idea having DX interfere in the NWO? I mean, it was a great moment, but do we really need that? Absolutely not. You know? I really was pulling for Sting because the whole build-up was pretty decent. The match was could be a lot better, but whatever. I mean, that's just how I feel. Okay, listen to this. Now, I was wondering, do you think Don Rowe that AEW will get their own network like WWE did before they sold it to Peacock? I'm just wondering. I'm just curious. Okay, while NXT... Is gone from, from Wednesday nights and now they went to Tuesday nights. What's your thought? Do you think that was a stupid idea or a good idea? So you guys could check this out. You know, I think AEW should just move to Monday nights. Maybe it'd be a that'd be a huge kick in the pants for Raw because it seemed like Raw they get very lazy. And they shouldn't get lazy. The workers for wrestlers they do a good job. But the writers and creators, they have some idiotic storylines, okay? Recently, in the Hurt Business broke up. You know whose idea was that? McMahon. Why are you, why are you smoking, McMahon? 
that was a good thing. At first, I didn't like them, the hurt business, but in the long run, it was a good idea. Now they broke up. Hopefully, uh, I heard, I had heard, the the uh, MVP had a discussion with McMahon. Says, "Bring these guys back or something like that." I doubt it. You know, no one's not looking forward to, um, probably Lashley versus um. Uh, Drew McIntyre now because they 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 killed they killed it. We all know that. Sh um, um, Drew McIntyre is going to win the belt in Mania. Hopefully not. I want Bobby Lashley win at Mania and have a a pretty decent run. He should have been champion a long time ago. But WWE has no desire pushing Bobby Lashley. They prefer p give the belt to John Cena. That was so stupid. But whatever. So what's your thoughts on this? you agree with Austin? Disagree with Austin? Have a good one. Hopefully you had a great Easter. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Probably a lot of you will give me a hard time about this. Now, if AEW come out with a video game, will you guys buy it? Yes? No? And all that good stuff. Have a good one once again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Love you all. In a good way.